It looks like things are about to fall apart for Derek Jackson because his ex-wife Denea is now revealing some new details about what really happened between them. Derek embarrassed Denea a few months ago when he publicly dumped her and she is now getting revenge on him by spilling all his deepest, darkest secrets. Uh, did he really sleep with 100 women? Girl, what? If there is one man that has somehow managed to fool the internet into thinking that he was the ideal guy, it's Derek Jackson. In case you somehow missed it, Derek was like a relationship love coach and he used to give like relationship advice to ladies on the men they should avoid dating and all that. He still kind of does if you go on his YouTube channel. Anyways, before the drama went down, he gained a lot of fame and he really had a strong community of followers until he got exposed for being exactly the same man that he was warning all the ladies about. And it was actually Actually, Tasha K who exposed if it wasn't for her we wouldn't have known his true colors and how he had the entire internet fooled but basically all this time that he was preaching to women what an ideal man should be he was being a serial cheater himself and betraying his own wife but when he got exposed for cheating the first time Denea took to Instagram to send a very strong message to people who were talking about her marriage and asking her to leave Derek Speaking against the names Denea Jackson and Derek Jackson in mockery, accusation, slanders, and lies, may the mercies of God be withdrawn from me. And as for Derek, he posted a video apologizing for his actions and saying that he didn't stand for his actions. Do not stand by those actions. I don't want to encourage anybody to do that. Well, it turns out that he was still lying then because he still kept on cheating on Denea. But he didn't stop there because he then decided to divorce her after she stood by him publicly after he got exposed. He announced that he had filed for divorce saying, Making the decision to file was one of the hardest decisions of my life, but I found peace knowing that our mission of raising healthy children, starting with healthy and whole parents, is still being accomplished. Yeah, well the decision couldn't have been so hard for him because he was still cheating on Denea. He got exposed again and his new side piece was the complete opposite of Denea because she was a total baddie and nothing like the submissive, conservative woman that Derek liked to talk about. Derek was obviously dragged online, but some of the backlash was for Denea as well. People clowned her big time. I mean, people had been telling her that he was a walking red flag the first time he got exposed and that she needed to leave him, but she instead decided to lay heavy curses on people who told her to leave. Many people had no pity for her because of this, and when Derek dumped her, it was an I told you so moment, and Denea suffered for it. The ridicule got so bad that she had to put her Instagram page on private for some time. She was clearly going through a lot and between getting her heart broken and getting humiliated by the world, it made sense that she would want to take some time for herself. Well, she had certainly been doing some healing in private cause she is now speaking out about her experience with Derek. And let me just say that this man ain't ever going to see the pearly gates cause he did Danae a dirty big time. So she recently did an interview with the Dear Future Wifey podcast and she revealed how Derek really mentally abused, manipulated, used, and left her. So she kicked things off by revealing that she had met Derek three weeks after she had gotten S-A'd at a family event. She hadn't processed or even accepted the reality of things when she met Derek. So you met him shortly after I did. your rape experience? I did, three weeks. Three weeks? Three weeks after I met him in class, yes. Things moved quickly between them and they quickly got closer and closer, but looking back at it now, it was probably a trauma bond because of her SA experience less than a month before they met. Like the first three days, it felt like I know him for the, my whole life. Yeah. And literally, we were on the phone, sleeping on the phone, like those first three, day, three days, having all kinds of conversations. It was like, oh my gosh, I've, I've known you all my life. This is a fairy tale. <laughs> I love you. It didn't take long for Derek to start showing his true colors because he started cheating on Denea. And when I say he was cheating, I don't just mean that he was texting other women or flirting with them or something like that. He was full on having different women on the side and sleeping with them while he was still with Denea. And like that wasn't bad enough, he didn't even try to hide it from Denea because she was fully aware of his cheating. 2015, going into 2016, late 2016, we went our separate ways because there was other people involved and there had already been other people involved even in college, right? And so- Be specific, other people, what you mean? Other women. But it didn't end there because he also made naughty videos with his side pieces. Like his cheating, he didn't try to hide the videos because Denea watched videos of him with other women. Like I've sat there and watched, I mean literally looked through his phone and watched him have sex with other girls. 
On the phone. On the phone. Like, I literally watched it. His cheating was so bad that she would often pass his side pieces on the staircase whenever she went over to his place. And so it, it was in this time where there was, listen, there was a lineup of us. We were passing each other on the stairway in and out. No, y'all wasn't. We, listen, no, y'all was not think Somewhere along the line, she got pregnant four times. She got rid of the first three pregnancies, but she refused to go through with the procedure a fourth time and insisted that she wanted to have the baby. They ended up getting married because of the baby. And I ended up getting pregnant with our first child. And it was in that, I was like, okay, Danae, I, I, you gotta figure out what you're doing with your life. <laughs> you yeah. are whole pregnant and you can't get rid of this child because I had already had three abortions before. If you think they had marital bliss, well, it wasn't long before Derek started to show another side of him. He was still cheating, but this time he got more controlling. He got mad and jealous that she was working with a male trainer in the gym and he had made her stop and get a female trainer. And then I had a male trainer. And so then at the time that we're going through premarital counseling, then it's like, oh, you're talking to your male trainer, you know, <clears throat> and you're having a relationship with him. You're trying to hide it from me. But as for him, he still continued hanging out and sleeping with women. And not just that, he was even posting them online. And so he got his hair cut by a girl that he used to have sex with. And um, she posted a picture on Instagram with hearts. He was standing behind her and he had their hearts surrounding them. And I lost it on him. Child, it's the audacity for me. And people have pointed out that this is exactly how manipulative, narcissist people operate. He was cheating on her, but he didn't want her to cheat on him, even when there were no indications that she wanted to cheat on him. His bad behavior made him irrationally jealous and obsessed with controlling her, not to do the very thing that he was doing to her. You know how they say that men can't take what they dish out? Yeah, Derek is the poster child of that. But if you think this is bad, child, y'all just sit back cause things get even messier from here. Remember how I said Derek used to make naughty videos and Denea used to watch them? Well, he didn't stop because of a pesky little thing like marriage. He continued to make the videos and Denea was so obsessed with watching them so much that she claimed to know other women's bodies better than hers. You said you knew another woman's body better than you knew your own. Yes, several, several women. I know several, I knew several other women's bodies better than I knew my own. I watched their videos of them having sex. So I would try to imitate that and recreate that in our relationships so that he could choose me and want me. With everything she went through, it's not surprising that she got depressed and literally almost died. I was depressed. I was malnourished. Like literally I... I was malnourished, like they had to like force feed me to like get me to back to a state where I could just eat properly. Why? Um, all the stuff that I had been dealing holding with in. and holding in, like I was dying. Had I not left Georgia at the time, I would have died in. But it gets even worse because Derek's cheating had damaged her so badly that she started to resent their daughter because she looked like Derek's side pieces. I had some issues like just like with the complexion of our daughter because that was the type of woman that he would go after and I'm not dark like super dark skinned woman and our daughter's like a little chocolate little princess she has it you know and I'm just like how does she look like the women that he wants wow that's deep how does she look like the women that he he wants and he desires and he loves like now I do feel a whole lot of pity for Danea because it's obvious that Derek broke her and really shattered her mental state they were together for years and the trauma bond explains why she didn't leave him even after he was constantly doing her dirty. But at the same time, I think we can all agree that it's kind of weird and creepy that she was looking at her daughter in that light. It's just weird. And if you're wondering just how many women Derek cheated on Danae with, well, she has an estimate. He made a list of women, so everything that he could recollect and there was nearly 100 women on there. Again, Danae was totally fine with this until he dumped her. Oh, and get this, he told her that he wanted a divorce via text. He told you he wanted a divorce when? Sept and how did he tell you that? September 29th, 2022, he sent me a text message. Danae was really going through it in the marriage and it's quite clear that it really took a toll on her. But it looks like she's been doing a lot of healing behind the scenes and I think it's great that she's now telling her side of the story. 
and this time people are completely on her side and have been dragging Derek through the mud. There are comments saying, so Derek was telling women the type of man they should not be with while being the man they should not be with. This was dark, dark, sad, and just so low. I know that she could leave, but man, when someone has you by the throat psychologically, man, that is something else. I pray that she heals completely on every level. And Danae's life with Derek was a horror story. Predators in the wild can smell blood in the air. Derek smelled her epic insecurities, pain, and vulnerability. He attached himself like a parasite to fulfill his own agenda, and he got her to participate and support. What really floored me was he was the one that asked for a divorce. So now my question is, had he not told her he wanted a divorce, would she still be with him? Okay, that's a very interesting question and I wanna know what you guys think about it. Also, do you think that Danea might take Derek back if he came back to apologize? Let me know what you think and then check out this next video.